I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. It's lined up for the opening kickoff, so here we go. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26. Chases is going to take the field for the first time now in front of the home crowd. And his skill set and this offense really gives this team an opportunity to be very, very good. He's one of our favorites to watch here. Well, I think it's going to be interesting to see if this offense goes to him right away and see just give him a chance to make a big play. The other thing I want to see is how is this defense going to adjust to where he is aligned on the field? Are they going to use double coverage to try to slow him down? From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. He just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He goes downtown. And it's caught. He's all the way. Touchdown. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. The score now, 7-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. to go and this one falls incomplete second down and 10 to go ball on the 25 yard line well i think he came down with it but from up in the booth it's hard to tell so the referee is going to take a look at several angles now remember he's seeing the same thing we are and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. Quick pass. That'll make it second and four. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 45 yard line, it's third down. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Here's the halfback on the screen and he shoved out of bounds at the 47 yard line. Well, that was a perfect time to call a screen pass there by the offense. The defense had pinned their ears down, and they were coming after the quarterback. They were out of position. The quarterback waited just to the right time to drop it down to the running back for the big play. From their own 48-yard line, Second down. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Quick toss. 
Payton was the intended target, so that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Dave is waiting for the snap. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they start to get a little bit fatigued. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. LSU is up a score. He gets hit out of bounds at the 27. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more. They go with a run and he's brought down in the backfield. Johnson is back to receive. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The Tigers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. He goes out of bounds at the 47. That's a game of five on the way. That brings him second and five. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Makes the catch, and look out. Tackle made right around the 34. That's good for the That brings up second and one. He's taken down at the 35. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. The crowd at this stadium always a factor in a football game. Gets it out quick and it's going the other way. And he is drilled at the 36 yard line. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. LSU is up 70. Fires out to his receiver. He's pushed out of bounds around the 43-yard line. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and two. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. down at the 
24. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Second down and six. Ball in the 29. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Lots of one on the way. That makes it 37. Here's the eighth play of the series. LSU is up by a touchdown. He's at the 20, and it's caught. bring him down at the four. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. And they make the stop right around the two-yard line. Touchdown, Tigers! And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 70-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down by. He's out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. So at the end of one, LSU leads it 14-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike 35, Mike 35. Hey, watch the slant. Watch the slant. Throws falling back and finds his man. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. First down. Switch, switch, switch. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. Throws it in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at the 30. Hill picks him up two yards with that catch. That'll make it second to seven. Mike 35, Mike 35. Under pressure, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He heaves 
it to the end zone. It's going the other way. We're going to find out what kind of character this football team has. I mean, I thought they had a chance to get back into this game. Now this big interception, let's find out what kind of fight and character they have to try to get back in the game. From their own 20-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 23. They'll give it off here. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. And he throws it away. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 36. throw out to the receiver he's at midfield and he's tackled around the 33 yard line this is a great pitch and catch combination and they hook up here for a big time game they bring him down in the backfield that play was over before it got started that was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball From the 36-yard line, second down. He makes it to the 35-yard line. made at the 26 yard line that gives him 100 yards in the game you know if you were to ask this defense who wants to cover this guy i bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them and we've still got time left here in the second quarter so this kid could really end up with a big game it's up and he got it and he's got to be happy about that kick oh no question this kid is just a solid kicker 17 to nothing lsu sends it sailing downfield this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. And he hits him hard at the 25-yard line. Well, that's exactly what this defensive coordinator wanted to see. Somebody come up with a big play. Right when it looked like this team might be able to get back in the game, they come up with the big interception and maintain the momentum here in the first half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Up the middle for a nice game. They'll pick up a first down with that run from the halfback. Solid five-yard pickup. He was almost able to get to the secondary, but as it is, he still manages to move the sticks. He's scrambling, and he's level at the 13-yard line. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Taken down at the three-yard line. Right, right, right. That brings 
second and goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six play, 25 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 35-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Zips it to the back. Tackle at the 35. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. He picks up about four yards with a catch. And still, this gunslinger hasn't missed a receiver yet on this drive. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Mississippi State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Complete. He's got room. And they push him out around the 48 yard line. First down. Quick strike to the receiver. The 10. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. That's just a great call by the coordinator there, going to the air on first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he just gets rid of it. And this play is number eight on the drive. Quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. He scrambled, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Loss of three on the play. That brings us fourth and goal. This should be an easy field goal. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. First start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks away, and it is good. Probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. He'll return it from the one. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving team. Not today. 
That penalty, penalty is declined. declined. And that'll do it for the first half. LSU's got a three touchdown advantage. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The first half performance, the best word I can think of, is ruthless. A three-score edge. It was devoid of emotion. It was very methodical. Uh, this is a team that understands what it needs to accomplish out there. Absolutely. Do what you do. Come out, take care of business. It doesn't have to be flashy. It has to be, but they take care of the little things, and the little things add up to something big, and next thing you know, they're up by three scores. I expect the lead to continue to grow over the second half. It's the team that, that doesn't mess around, that always takes care of business. You can trust this team. This is a team that week after week has put these type of performances together to say, you know what, they're a team that I trust. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires that quickly incomplete. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Into double coverage, and that's going to be picked off for the 20. That gives the defense their fourth pick of the day. This defense is full playmakers. They force the quarterback to make tough throws that he doesn't want to make, and that usually adds up to turnovers. and goal from the four, looking for Pater. That's a great tackle at the 10-yard line. That is a loss of five on the play. That brings up second and goal. for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A quick two play, five yard drive, and the result, seven points. York, ready to kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers coaching staff's got to be elated over on the sideline about what they plan to do with this wide receiver and the plan's coming to fruition. Absolutely, and they continue to be able to find ways to get him the football. It's the thing that's been probably most impressive, not just his ability, but how they've moved him around and got the football to him in different ways. It makes it very tough on the defense. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Steps out of bounds at the 24. Three down, three down. 
Once and all, going deep. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. Fred, I'm all for continuing to fight, continuing to try to compete. But another interception, another miscue for this team. They're already getting blown out. They've got no chance to get back in the game. From their own 36-yard line, first down, LSU. Looking to put this game away if they score here. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. And he is drilled at the 44. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Gives it off. They'll bring him down around the 36 yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. Side. He's pushed out of bounds at the 17 yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 17 yard line, it's first down. Flushed out, and he's going to get sacked. Seven yards. That'll make it second and long. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull out there. Check the outs out there. LSU comes to the line, holding that commanding lead. Curry gains about a yard on the play. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. And they fall on the loose ball. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. This is to add to an already impressive lead. Kicks up, and it's good! Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bulldogs have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. to the tailback, incomplete. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. There's a strike complete. 
He's tackled around the 42-yard line. First down. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. Slings it quickly to his halfback again. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. That makes it 33. And he tackles him hard at the 39-yard line. First down. Roger, Roger. Mike 35, Mike 35. Check Mike, check Mike, check, check. Now, Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Well, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. This is the eighth play of this drive. Dangerous throw, and this one's picked off. When it rains, it pours. Are you kidding me? An interception? You're already getting blown out? There's no chance to come back now. From their own 34-yard line. First down, LSU. Up by a bunch. Down he goes at about the 35. That brings up second and nine. For the offense you connect with your wide out hoping to make a play and he winds up losing control of the ball man that hurts i hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive if you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After reviewing the play, the rule on the field is reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. ground and he stopped short a totally lopsided affair through three is there any hope of a comeback we'll find out going to the fourth quarter the Tigers in front 34-3 this one has been a blowout since the beginning hopefully the fourth quarter will turn things around LSU looking to build on this commanding lead here Taken down at the 24-yard line. Early in the fourth quarter, and this one we know is over. It's an opportunity for some subs to play on one side and maybe to play for pride on the other. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle around the 41 yard line. 
Ward with the tackle. The 41 yard line. First down. Too little, Cup. Tackle made at the 35 yard line. Next makes the tackle at the 35 yard line. That'll make it second and four. He's in trouble. He fires. And this one's going to get intercepted. And he's leveled at the 36-yard line. Can these guys do anything right? I mean, they're already getting blown out, and now another interception? This is just one of those days. From their own 36-yard line, first down, LSU is winning big. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go. That's a game of two on the play. That makes it 37. From their own 39 yard line. Third down. Mike 40, Mike 40. I'm coming. Here we go. Throws incomplete. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. That brings us fourth and seven. Johnson is back deep to return the punt. He really got a hold of that one. Johnson takes it to 15. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. That's a game of 15 on the play. First down. And a quick throw. Brought down at the 49. Game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. They're running it. 35's the mic. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down around the 37-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Less than three minutes in the game. Fires quick. He's got another one. And he hits him hard at the 25-yard line. First down. Quick pass. He's tackled at the 12. He's knocked out of bounds around the seven yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's on the run. Got the corner. That's a great tackle at the one. Good for a game of six yards. That makes it first and goal. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. And he tacks on the extra point. And 
And down he goes at the 46. The defense shut him down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. Just over two minutes in the game. He gets to about the 31-yard line. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. They get nice yardage on that run. That brings up 75. Two times, two times. Here we go. Red 18. Red. Nice run there. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football, but for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. From the 21 yard line. First down. Makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line. That makes it second and eight. This one's in the books. The Tigers get the win here. 34-10. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.